Hi, in this short video, we'll learn how to plan, create and automate your irrigation plans using Phytex Planner web app. First, let's go over the hierarchy and structure. We have groups that can include multiple blocks and each block can contain numerous valves. In this example, the group named sectors has three blocks. Now let's see how to create an irrigation event for the group that will be applied for all its related blocks. Clicking the desired day opens the irrigation planning tool. The default event is irrigation, but you can also define the event as spray, other, or cooling. In this example, we'll create an irrigation event. Choose the start time and duration of the event. You can define it as pulse or add a fertigation event. Other options include repeat timing, back-to-back, -back, and valve delay. Click the button to save the event. Back on the planner, you can see the newly created event on the group level and for each of its blocks. Easily distinguish between future, indicated with stripes as opposed to fully colored plans, indicating past actual events. In case you don't want to irrigate the entire group, you can create an event just for one block and then define the event. The new event now appears on the planner's main screen. Please note that on the block level, the event is indicated by a large rectangle while a thinner stripe signifies it on the group level. That's it, you're good to grow. With complete visibility of the irrigation system and their plant's real-time status, Phytech growers can monitor, plan, and automate every beat of their farm. For more videos, tutorials, and success stories, visit us at phytech.com.